That was me. <laughs> that was really me, like breathing, like you know what I'm saying. Like, anyway, let's get on to the shits, man. Come on, man. Oh, what are we talking about today? We got. Ooh, Kanye, yay, yay, yay. Kanye West is a fucking idiot. I love him though. Can I have a hookah call, anybody, please? If anybody cares, thank you so much. Yo, Alex. so Kanye um, was. My bad. You we talking about the, just the tweets or the entire situation? So, um, okay, let's talk about. All right, it honestly it's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's, a fuck, it's a fucking lot going on with Kanye right now. Cause I I was gonna say the whole thing, but the tweets was a little wild. Like my nigga is calling out the whole Jenner clan. So I never like, seen he the going tweet up, that he deleted or something. He he going up on Chris Jenner. Uh, he's talking about. Her exploitation of Playboy and the kids, and um, it's a little left for me because I'm like, okay, what is he really trying to say? Because he keeps calling out how North never gonna be exposed to no Playboy by Chris. Like she got me fucked up. Like she not even allowed to see my kids. And I'm Damn. like, whoa, like, so wait, did he what is he saying? Tweets? Maybe possibly because uh, recently he ended. So he also was saying that how he um been trying to file for a divorce from Kim. Um, and then he recently made a post of how he was apologizing to Kim because he know he hurt her for putting their personal business out there. So, you know, yeah, it, it, it's, I'm, so I'm a little confused because like, again, I'm really big. So I know they said that, you know, Kanye is, he's diagnosed bipolar, correct? I, I don't know. He's if, diagnosed. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he's a Gemini. So. so yeah, they all bipolar. He, wow. Right, Gemini's are born bipolar. Okay, that's, that's facts. That's, that's, that's but did the doctor diagnose him? I want to say so, but I don't want to say so if I, I'm not right. So what do you want to say? So say so <laughs> so. All right. So long story short, the the theory is that Kanye <coughs> is bipolar, and here's my thing. God damn, fire in the yard. All right. So my thing is. If it is just a manic episode of where he was really just lashing out and then he, he comes back and like apologizes, it's like, all right. But I'm really a stickler like, bro, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. I, I would rather you just stand on how you feel. Like, cause like, it's really confusing when he goes back and he like apologizes to Kim. Like, cause it's like, so what's truth and what's false? Cause now I don't know. And he said so many things. It was kind of like, he said like they killed, who did they say they killed? Can we pull out the tweets? He said uh, they killed. It wasn't Bill Bellamy. Was what a tweet said. What, no, what, no, what no, did no. we find that? He, he was talking me... about Cosby, but he basically said N- NBC is the reason why yep. Cosby is in the situation that they. Right, like they really. He was just saying a lot of shit that I'm sure, like you know, the elites don't want to get out there. Um, you know that he claimed that they're trying to put him in a, a facility right now, and they're gonna try to kill him. Like he's really wilding out, and um. I don't know if he okay because there's people who's backing him at the same time. So like Black China, her mother came out like no, that this is what it is. That's exactly how they are. Like you know what I'm saying you know they Black China allegedly still has a lawsuit against the Kardashians um, that apparently is still active because you know she got proof like in all these things of them blackmailing her and getting her shows canceled and all these things of how they roll. We seen how they did to Jordan. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like we seen like. And Tristan and like we see how they move with these people. Well, not these people, because I ain't talking about these people. Let me be specific. We see how they move with our black people. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it is what it is. And like, you know, I, Can you I'm just lost tweets? for words. Okay, I'm trying to look. What it was on the shade room? Some of them they post so up. much shit. Yeah. Like, god damn, it, it, it's a lot. Like, it's a lot. So I kind of want to talk about the tweets, but I also want to get an overall analysis on Kanye and where his um. Thinking is going. Uh, MJ so. told MJ told you about Tommy before they they killed him. Uh, Kim saved my daughter's life in the name of Jesus. It's God's choice only. I will have I will live for my children. Uh, Chris, I'm in Cody. What? Chris, I'm in Cody. If you're not planning planning another one, your children play Playboy shoes. Uh, I don't know what the like fuck that's I mean. wild <laughs> accusations. You can't just be putting shit out like that because that's white, not something you could apologize from. White like, supremacy at his. At its highest, no cap. This Jay, you ready to talk now, or are you still avoiding my calls? Um, Miss Jay, I'm ready to go to war. He said. So, like, why do we care? Like, what's going on? I think it's the information he's been putting out, the names he's been dropping, okay, and the commentary behind that. 
it's a little alarming because again these are you know what we would call the elite stature of people with these notions behind their names and it's like okay what's false or facts because you know in the age of the cancel culture niggas is ready to cancel motherfuckers left and right like what did they do cancel okay she's out here selling playboy on north cancel like you know they ready so like we don't know people don't know what's what that's Corey kamye <laughs> So, wait, his name is Kanye? <laughs> wait, what? Oh, they I call think... him Kanye because he's yeah. trying to say he look like him, but yeah. they, they want him to be like him. Like, oh. he's what, what about when Kanye say he, they made the movie Get Out about him? Listen. I'm saying, though. Well, so my thing is, like, the tweets are kind of, like, far-fetched, but it's like, I didn't really care about the tweets. Now, what I will say is, in the, in the, in, in the world of cancel culture, right, I, it seems like everybody is upset with Kanye. Like, is anybody saying anything about anybody else? Is anybody saying anything about Chris, about uh, Kim Kardashian? About- I mean, of course, I've seen I've seen some really pers- like some really strong perspectives on how the Kardashian clan is dealing with somebody who is supposedly be their family in a bipolar manic episode of saying they're not supporting him, they're not coming out and coming in a loving way as him being the father, their their son-in-law, a, a brother-in-law. Nobody's really coming to Kanye's defense as if... Now, Kim held it down. I ain't gonna lie. She put out she put out a tweet and just was like, look, like, at this time, like, I don't... Like, she, one, they're not letting uh, the filming happen with Kanye and the kids. She's like, no, you guys cannot film my family. And she basically came out like, you know, Kanye is, you know, going through something right now and I'm gonna support him and um, please just respect my pa- family's privacy and these things. Um, however... Again, I'm just confused if this is a manic episode or is he speaking truth? Is just Kanye. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because, and that's what I'm saying. Because if he is speaking truth, then her statement is contradicting because you're trying to make it seem like he's having a bipolar episode and he's really speaking truth. So yeah. that's where it gets tricky for me because I'm like, which side is, like, what are we saying about him? Are we saying that this is his, his you know, we already know he doesn't articulate what he's trying to say the best. But it doesn't mean what he's saying isn't truth and it doesn't make sense. So if he is saying what he's saying and there's truth behind it and you guys are calling it a bipolar episode and you're sending doctors to come save him, then we are talking about something completely dangerous to a society. And that is not okay. And I have seen plenty of black women speak out on Kanye's behalf and like there's no way that my husband, brother-in-law, my son-in-law is about to be out here like this and I'm not backing him and speaking out or speaking out for him and holding him up. He's literally basically crying out for help and you guys are basically, he's bipolar, doctors come get him. So, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, like, because I don't know what's truth and wrong, it's hard to say. Will we ever know? Hard to say. Um, you know, I definitely, I, I love the pray for Kanye. Uh, hashtag, um, because I think this is very sad to see, especially from one of our favorites that we've grown up with. Like, nobody wants to see somebody out here. And even if these things are true, it even be that the case. Like, you know what I'm saying? If Even if it's bipolarism, even that be the case. And to see that Kanye's acting like this, it's almost like he doesn't have anybody. Mm. Yes. Like, and that's what's, like, dawning on me. Like, he don't have, like, somebody, uh, like, a bestie. Like, and although I seen, like, Dave Chappelle pull up and... Justin Dave, Bieber. Uh, just, and like, people. people pull up, but where's his close friend like who's his who's his bestie bro yeah yeah but jay-z like i like i don't know man um... it's it's tough to watch like because i don't know what's going on i think i think for me the biggest thing is because i actually have somebody in my family close like my brother deals with mental health you know what i mean so seeing it on like a big stage like that i think it highlights the conversation of mental health you know Mm -hmm. and i have seen a lot of people like black women come out and say like it does show you that sometimes before this is before Kim came out with the statement, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. they were saying that the Kardashians really don't care, you know what I mean? And I mean, like yeah. you were saying, but um, so it's I, something that I feel like the I wanna, conversation needs to be had. Yeah, I want to have this this conversation since like because it's serious, right? And my only brother is diagnosed with bipolar disorder, but I ne- I never was really around him, mm. so I don't really know. So I definitely think it's a conversation. So I'm gonna call my mom's real quick. Oh, that's so cute. So yeah, let's, yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Wait. Yeah, I'm about to tell her. <laughs> Ma, he said he was going to smack you for 10 mil. Say. Ma, where you at? I mean, can you talk? Wait. What are y'all talk? What's going on? What's going on? 
All right. So is is it a good time to talk to you? Is it a good time to talk to you? Yeah. No. Nah. <laughs> What the heck is going on? No. <laughs> like, it's a boardy by the tree. You heard what she said. They out the country you're sitting around. The tree. <laughs> it's an interlude right now. You know? Right. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I want to have this conversation, but I can't. I, I want to be careful with it because yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I haven't seen him have a bi bipolar moment. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I really well, don't know. Well, they've called a lot of his moments. He's had bipolar. I think one year he had a concert and he went off, and that's the first year they put him in a institute. Yes. But let's talk about the doctors. They diagnose this with anything, though, honestly. I mean, well, yeah, they said, according to, like, the spectrum that they have, almost everyone has some form of a mental Yeah, we illness, all do. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a matter Nigga, of being yeah. black. You have, like, you, you're born I mean, with a mental illness. Like, you have, like, see so much yeah, shit. Like, the traumas that we have to endure growing up and stuff like that within all communities, you know? Yeah, Hispanic, we all suffer in something. Asian communities, we do suffer from right. something, but... It's a matter of like having some people have more resources right. than others. But then right. I think one of the biggest things is accepting and understanding. But some people don't even see it as an illness. You know, when some people are able to grasp it as like this is like I remember Kanye called it one time like this is my superpower. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. like, you oh, know, yeah. when you look at it, it's all about perspective. If you're able to cope with it and move. I mean, yeah. it's an episode. You right. go yeah. through episodes and my brother, uh, you said he's bipolar. My brother suffers from schizophrenia. So, you right, know what I mean? Right. So there's God in bless. that moment, it's like, yeah. do you know you can't even grasp Christ between re reality and, and what's going yeah, on? Yeah. So grace is the biggest yeah. word during that time yeah. because it's like really coming to terms that it's not him. Yeah. And, it took me a long time because, you know, dealing with it growing up because he got diagnosed when I was 11. Right. When you're 11, you don't really know what it means. What, what it saying? means. Right. So you just start to resent the person. Hello? Sorry. All right. Uh, so we're on a podcast and uh, we were talking about Kanye West and. Um... Mom, I'm going to just call you back. <laughs> Love you too. I tried. But she yeah, got so niggas in the background. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Like, I don't know what like, Jay mom showed me her boyfriend. Jay was so mad, bro. <laughs> Look at him. She got niggas in the background. Like, mom can't even have a life. Shout out to mom. What you was but saying, nah, bro? I mean, I think it's grace and the understanding that, like, it's not that person. You know what I mean? And it took me a long, and it's still sometimes when I just be like, this thing right. is wildin', bro. But at the end of the day, it's like really to understand that it's not him and right. put myself in his shoes. And it's yeah. like, would you want to be solely dependent on somebody? Right. Would you want to, like, everything that you have to do within be, your life is dependent somebody else on somebody has to control. else? And you know, like, you don't want to feel like that burden. So, how do you feel on the other end? It makes me think, like, it's crazy because we also, we always got to understand each other as humans, right? Mm -hmm. So, I was thinking, like, didn't they say Kim was trying to file for divorce? He was trying like, to file yeah, for divorce. Like oh, I think was, he yeah. was. Oh, wow. So, I thought it was her. I thought she yeah. was trying to file. You know, it's crazy, too. Like, I think the biggest problem here is our lack of trust in the doctors in our system. Um, because it's like, well, you know, we want, like, for me, like, I think I want to believe that Kanye may have some situations. But it's hard. I don't know. I really don't know. And that's just my lack of faith in the system or even the elites in the culture of what they do and what they can control. Like it's, it's, and that's not being a conspiracy, like a conspiracy theory. It's just one of those things is I don't trust what like they will do in the midst that they feel like something's getting out or something he's trying to say is not being properly addressed or because the thing about it is like, okay, for example, my boss, <clears throat> his sister was schizophrenic, right? And um, and God bless her, R. P. She um she she would run away a lot, like whatever. Um, and the thing is, like they all try to let her live with them, but like she was kind of one of those schizophrenias where she couldn't be tamed, like you really couldn't. She would just leave, and because you know typically they don't live in a reality standpoint, like when people will try to help her, she was like. She don't know you like she would like really freak out. Um, God bless her. She ended up running away and getting hit by a car. So it was a really sad situation. However, one thing he said to me that stuck out to me, he was like, the thing about it is that he realized with his sister is that she still wanted to live a normal life. Mm -hmm. Like, so you can't just call doctors on them in a way where and she was like, she the reason why she kept running away. He was like, it's something that haunts him to this day is because they kept trying to get her help. Mm -hmm. And all they would do is sedate her. All they would, she was sleepy, put her on the mat. She couldn't be herself. And although that might be needed for certain situations, I feel like anything they feel like they can't control or they don't want to do the work to control, sedate them. Yeah. They also 
give them medicine. Right. Like, it's bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that, when they go through that process, that fucks them up even more. Because, because the people that they're supposed, they <clears> think <throat> they can trust, it's like, damn, they against yeah. me too. So and then you get in a place of, it's me against the world. Right, you know? exactly. And that's the and one that's, place you don't want to be. Bingo. And that's what I feel like Kanye is going through. I, I think he's more so, it's him against the world. Mm. Because everybody thinks he needs help. Everybody want to sedate him. Everybody want to put him in a hospital. Everybody, you don't want to do all these things except truly be there for him, right, if that right. makes sense. And that's where it gets sad for me because I'm like, I couldn't imagine just really, I, I might be fucked up in the head a little bit, but I don't have somebody who's genuinely tried to be there. Everything has to be like, you need help. And I think that's like so insensitive, like, you know, like to keep saying like, he needs help. Like I would see comments like, he need help. Put this man in an institute. But it's like, bro, like he's still a human being. You got to think about it. Like when you say put him in an institute, mm. that's locking somebody away. That's, that's essentially that's saying, like, yeah, like, you like, telling me to send me to jail. Yeah. Man, let's uh, let's yeah. just send prayers to Kanye, man, and yeah. the whole family. 